Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is the ICDoc Ultra Slim MB559U3S external 3.5 inch SATA hard drive enclosure and uh, this uses a USB 3.0 and eSATA interface to connect to your uh, computer. And you can see here some of the features it has in front and icon form and as you can see here on the front cover it comes in two varieties you have the black version and the white version if we flip the box at the back you can see there which model you have the pearl white is the default one and it's designated by the model name MB559U3S-1S while the black version is designated with the dash 1SB and uh, as you can see the uh, other features here we uh, gloss over you have the aluminum body and partial plastic usually and compatibility with Windows 7 and Mac OS X as well and uh, let's start opening the package so we can see what the contents are inside let's open it here from the top and uh, see that the, each compartment is labeled to what uh, contains for example here we have the SATA cable inside, uh, rather the eSATA cable inside a, by, a uh, box labeled. A USB 3.0 cable. And of course it is a blue. And one end is a standard male USB 3.0. And the other end is connecting to your the uh, MB559U3S enclosure and let's see one more here for the adapter for the power since it is a 3.5 inch drive and especially if you're running a 7200 RPM drive you would require external power and it's provided by this power adapter right here just going to simply connect this to your enclosure and connect this adapter to your wall. And inside we can find the enclosure itself. And uh, there, are, before I go over that, let's make sure that the box is completely empty. Here, of course there's a bag of screws in here for uh, installing your drive inside the MB559U3S enclosure. And uh, make sure that this compartment is pretty empty. Maybe there's one more set of screws in there. And this is actually for, uh, these appear to be four silicon standoffs. So you uh, just stick on to the enclosure if you want to, uh, if you don't want to mount it vertically, as you can see in your picture, you want to mount it horizontally, you can use these. Uh, silicone standoffs and here and the package with the enclosure you're going to find just uh, opening up the tape there the manual of course it is a fold up manual in multiple languages showing the accessories and just a quick installation guide and connectivity guide and of course here we have the MB559U3S ultra slim enclosure itself and you can see it looks very sleek looking this is the pearl white version and the, the external cover is obviously aluminum high quality you see here here on this side where if you put it vertically this is the top part where the heat will exhaust and here the front you can see the uh, drive enclosure itself of course just open it by flipping that switch downward you can pull out the uh, caddy inside we'll go over that later once we the installation but for now let's put it back and continue with uh, going through the features here. Here at the bottom you have these feet uh, for elevation. It's actually here at the at the back where you have controls for it. Just simply press this button right here and uh, see there they eject and so you basically have uh, a stable vertical mounting. 
and, uh, and to put it back you just simply uh, put it together like that at the bottom and then now they're, now they're locked in place and uh, one more feature here you have some Kensington lock uh, hole there and it's like eSATA port the USB 3.0 port the power connector and the on and off toggle switch and as I mentioned let's pop open the IC Dock MD559 closure. You can see in here it comes with a silica gel, of course, to absorb all the moisture inside. Since this is first time we're opening it, just take that off completely. And this one appears to be uh, some sort of plastic uh, rod here that keeps it stable. It's not a tool free installation, unlike uh, some IC Dock's enclosures. And of course you're going to need a screwdriver to install a drive in there. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get some tools here and prepare some of my drives to show you how to install a hard drive inside the IC Dock MB559 U3S enclosure. To install a 3.5 inch hard drive inside the IC Dock MB559 U3S enclosure, you of course need to take out the uh, hard drive mounting easy slide tray in here where you can uh, show in the overview you just simply slide this lock to the right if it's vertical or downward if it is on top of your desk and just simply pull it up and you are going to need a screwdriver to install a drive in there let me just put this enclosure here in the front and uh, of course there is this little plastic stabilizer in here you don't need that to install the drive, it's basically just there so uh, when you can actually slide your enclosure into the drive cage when nothing is installed. So using a screw Phillips head screwdriver in there, you can just uh, pull it out and on the other side as well. You can see that the, these rails here on the side, these are aluminum. It also helps dissipate some of the heat since it is a slim enclosure and there's uh, not too, many, too much space in there. For your drive, see there, and just align your hard drive to the appropriate mounting hole. To the, uh, see there on the left side, and take the screws provided in accessory package and screw it in place. Just to save time, here, I'm only going to screw two screws here just to you get the idea. You can screw four screws in there, but I'm going to. For this demonstration, just so that it is quick, I'm only going to screw two screws here. Of course, you want full stability, you want to screw all four screws in place. And this also supports ultra slim drives like those uh, single ter uh, rather single platter drives from Seagate. You see, it will look like this, and there's a little bit more space here at the top, too, depending on the size of your drive. And once you've done that, just simply slide it in place. Make sure that the lock is in an unlocked position or else it won't slide back inside. And you just push it in. And voila. Of course, you need to plug in your appropriate uh, cable you want to use, your power and USB 3.0 or your eSATA at the back. Of course, if you want to use eSATA, you would want to uh, Plug, depending on your motherboard, of course, you want to plug it in before the system boots you can get get detected. And USB 3.0, you can just plug it in and plug it out uh, if your motherboard supports it. Of course, the power switch at the back as well. Now, when that's powered on, it actually has an LED indicator here on the side that shows the drive activity if your drive supports it. Now, you're probably wondering, what about three point rather uh, 2.5 inch or SSD drives? Now they Official specs doesn't say that it supports 2.5 inch drives, but you actually can technically through the use of a, an adapter, something like the IC Dock MB882SB1SB converter, like so. I'm going to demonstrate it now. I'll put in an SSD drive inside, and uh, let me just unscrew screws here so we can install. Our SSD. And be careful uh, to keep track of the screws because they are quite small. And 
And the good thing about it is that uh, this is also compatible with other devices that use this uh, easy slide tray that uh, I could actually use. They also have a couple of NAS devices and a couple of other enclosures that support that. And of course to install it inside the MB882SP 2.5 inch to 3.5 inch, inch hard drive enclosure. All you need to do is simply open that up. Put in your 3.5 inch or 2.5 inch SSD drive inside and slide into place. Now, on uh, IC Doc's website, they indicated through internal testing, they showed that there is uh, no noticeable huge drop in performance when it comes to directly plugging in your SSD or plugging it through the, the these IC Doc converters, so it shouldn't be a problem. Same way you would install a hard drive since the MB882SP 1SP 1S 1SP has the exact same form factor as the 2.5 inch drive. As you can see there, that the mounting holes align. So it's uh, in place. That's what they actually provided four screws. There's four screws in the bag, accessory package. There's two more screws here. You can screw up to six screws in total. You can see there in the lines as well. So again, as just uh, just to save time in this demo, I'm only going to screw two screws. And if you want, you can screw all four or rather all six screws if you choose to do so. There you go. And then just simply slide it in again. Make sure it's in an unlocked position. So it goes in. Push it in place, and you're good to go. Fully compatible with 2.5 inch and 3.5 uh, inch drives, and of course, 2.5 inch drives with a fully compatible converter. And of course, we are going to test the USB 3.0 speed as well as the eSATA speeds into our system. And uh, thanks for watching. You can read the rest of the review at www.hightechlegion.com, and you can watch more of our videos at youtube.com slash high tech legion leave us a comment questions and again thanks for watching and see you next time